So let's proceed for the blocking out. So the third step is blocking out. So when we say blocking out, it is the placing in a fingerprint card the result of the interpretations of all 10 patterns. So it can be letters, numbers, or symbols that represent each of the role print. So kung ating pong titignan, ang ating pong unang pattern na meron is the right thumb, which is the has plain world. So, we're po ang ating first block. So, mag-ridge tracing po tayo. So, when we say ridge tracing, it refers to the positions of delta in a wall related to each other. So, pag wala ang pattern, meron tayong tinatawag na MIO guidelines o MIO. E M stands for meeting, IO stands for inner, and O stands for outer. So, when the ridge count of 0 to 2, below or above, the right delta, it will be a meeting. When the ridge count 3 or more above the right delta, it is an inner. And when it's the 3 or more below the right delta, it, it was called outer. So, mag-start na po tayo. Meron po ako ditong duplication ng copies ng ating mga pattern. Ito po. So, mag-ridge tracing na po tayo. Oh, and the next is no ridge count. Count or 
nag-mimit, nag-mix silang dalawa. So, it will be N and uh, sa little, right little finger space, nag-ridge count po tayo. So, meron tong 8 ridge count. And let's proceed to the left fingers. To the first is the left thumb. Meron tong 2 ridge count below the right del delta. So, it will be N. The next is the index. 2, two deltas are met. So, eh, again, N. The middle finger is the 3 ridge count below or meron siyang nasa outer siya. And 3 ridge count below also, nasa outer din siya sa ring finger. Tapos din naman po sa double little finger. Dito po sa ating left little finger is meron po siyang double looper. So, pag double looper, meron po kasi tayong normally po, pag word yung pattern natin is mag-ridge tracing tayo. So, pag nag-ridge tracing tayo is meron po itong 7 counts. Ito pong pattern na to, meron po itong 7 counts. So, meron po kasi tayong rule na if yung double looper is meron siyang nasa vertical, so, ikakonnect po natin yung delta to the core to the upper upright loop o yung nakatayo. So, ito po yung nakatayo. Yan, tapos, to the left delta towards the core. So, ito po yung bibilangin na natin yan. Yung nakatay. So, meron po itong 7 ridge count above, above, and kung ikakasify po natin is meron, nasa inner, inner po siya, nasa inner. So, after po na ating interpretation of data and blocking out is, proceed naman po tayo ngayon sa classification pattern. So, sa classification power is meron po tayong tinatawag na primary classification. So, in primary classification, all fingers are involved. Ang i-memorize lang po natin is yung numerical value niya sa taas and power replacement. Kung ano yung may value at saka walang value. So, itong word is meron siyang value na 16, 4, 16, 8, 8, and yung... So, dito sa primary classification po is yung word is yung may value. Pero yung mga loops and arches ay wala po siyang value. So, Yung radial loop, loop tsaka kaya magiging zero po ito. Tapos, four ulit, next is four, two, two, one, and yung double loop word is four pa rin, kaya magkakabalo pa rin siya ng one. So, ito pong mga number dito is the sequence of number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, ang una po natin gagawin is yung determine the numerator and denominator. Pag numerator po is always na yung numerator natin is yung mga even numbers. Ito yung two, four, six, eight, ten. Tapos, yung magiging denominator na yung mga odd numbers. So, proceed na po tayo. Numerator is even. So, 2, 16 over 1, 16. Tapos, 8 over 8. Tapos, 5 and 6. So, yung 6 ang magiging numerator natin na may value sa 4 over 5 is 0. Tapos, 8 2 over 2 and ipag-a-add po natin lahat to. 17 plus 31 over 2 plus 27. So, dito po, mag magkakaroon po tayo ng arbitrary number or additional 1. So, pag-a-add natin 1, 1. So, ang purpose po ng arbitrary number or additional 1 is to avoid the primary classification of 0. Lalo na sa kung lahat po ay loops or arches. So, magiging sagot natin dito is 31 plus 1 is 32 over 20. So, ito na po yung sagot ng ating primary classification sa ating recording na ginawa last time. Proceed na po tayo sa ating secondary classification which means all fingers are involved for the secondary classification. Dito may tinatawag tayong capital let letter group or meron dito yung plain art, tented, radial, ulna, and yung W is represent niya lahat ng klase ng word. Tapos dito na si small letter group is meron siyang art, radial, and tented. So ito yung small letter group. Tatandaan po natin dito sa secondary classification na yung, yung index finger lang po yung ating magiging capital. Kasali sa capital letter. So pag Pag dito po, yung mga small na po, huwag na po natin sa art. So, art, dapat meron siya sa art. Nobody, wala siya sa art. So, leave na lang po natin lang. Tapos, yung dito sa capital letter group, meron siya W, which is the primo. So, select po natin dito. Tapos, dito na po, mga small letter na po. So, W, wala sa art. W, wala sa art. Tapos, yung radial loop is meron siya. So, ilalagay po natin siya dito. So, next is the denominator. W, wala sa art. So, W, magiging capital letter group po ito kasi index finger. are only the index finger, middle finger, and the ring finger. So, dito na natin i-apply yung ginawa natin ridge tracing and ridge counting sa ating blocking out kanina. So, in loop pattern, meron po tayong tinatawag na ridge counting. Yun yung ginawa natin kanina. Sa so, katalang sa mga wall naman po is nag-ridge tracing po tayo. So, ang sali lang po dito is yung 
index, middle, at saka yung finger. So, itong, itong pa lang po yung sign. So, pati na pong gagawin. So, subsequent line, classification is equal to. I-apply na po natin dito yung NEO. NEO rule or guidelines ng work kanina. Kasi yung brewer na magta yung, yung meeting work, in our work, and after work. So, dito po sa index finger is meron po tayo meeting work. So, end. Tapos, dito naman po sa middle is meron tayong after work and meeting work again sa ating play finger. Over. Dito sa ating left index finger is meron din meeting room. Tapos, meron sa middle naman is meron siyang outer tapos yung ring finger is may siyang outer ulit. So, ito na po yung magiging sagot natin sa ating secondary classification. This is the major classification na ginawa natin sa ating recording. So, in major classification, only the thumbs that are involved. So, itong thumbs lang po ang meron. So, dito na po natin i-apply yung ating new rule, which is the meeting, inner, and outer. Yung flight count natin is meron siyang forage count below the delta. So, ito is magiging Classification proper is the kick classification. In kick classification, our fingers are except little fingers. So, except po itong hindi po kasali yung little fingers. So, ang ipropriority po natin is yung loops. Kaso, kung titignan po natin, wala, halos wala pong loops dito kasi puro wear na po yung ating thumb at saka mga index, middle at saka yung finger. Both, both po sa left and right. So, kung wala pong, wala pong loops is next po tayo sa rule which is the first wear or wear na meron siyang ridge count. So, ang first wear po natin na meron ridge count is magiging sagot natin dito is click. Click classification is equal to 4. Kasi ito po yung unang word na meron siyang reach count. 4 reach count below the right delta. So, ito na po yung magiging sagot natin sa ating key classification. The last part of our output is the classification proper of the output in recording of fingerprint. So, meron tayo dito key classification, major classification, primary classification, secondary classification, sub-secondary classification, and the final
that's the end of my output. Thank you for watching.